What's going on, Sagittarius? Happy birthday. It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy here to do your December 2021 Silent Enemies reading. I hope all is well in the Sagittarius land. You're going to take what resonates, leave the rest. This is a Silent Enemies reading, so... You know, this is a reading that helps you to confirm <clears throat> who you have to watch as far as the people closest to you. By paying attention to your intuition. Our spiritual lessons come from people closest to us. So it's important that you know when your intuitive nudge goes about, out, goes on, or alerts you in reference to people closest to you, family members, friends, lovers, colleagues, business partners. You know, landlord, tenant, your, your kids, teacher, whomever. Somebody's energy is always a little off to you when you're around them. You know, maybe you should just take a look and see what that's all about. Or try to figure out what that is. <clears throat> but, um, you know, especially if your intuition goes off often. So this is a reading for some of you who maybe your intuition has gone off a few times. Um, so maybe this is just confirmation or... You know, maybe it doesn't resonate. <laughs> All right, so let's just see. I need three cards. Uh, we got the Eight of Wands. All right, so that's your energy. All right, we got the Star Aquarius came out in reverse, Major Arcana, and Judgment, Pluto. All right, so Major Arcana's here. So, you know Major Arcana's uh, mean, you know, a change that's going to happen, a major change that's going to go on in your world or that could possibly go on in your world should you not follow your intuition or if you misjudge it or something like that or underestimate it or, you know, don't do what you truly feel is right. Uh, or maybe you're trying to ignore something. But um, this Eight of Wands energy, I just feel like... Um, you need to be careful of uh, what you're saying online, what you're doing online, what you're watching online, um, just communication in general. Also, um, I feel like some of you um, are like getting downloads from your, your higher self, letting you know what's going on. Like you got a lot of um, planets in your first house, you know, at one point you did couple of days ago you had the sun the moon um and it wasn't just a regular moon it was a new moon and then you had not just the sun but a solar eclipse right then you have mercury and then you have the south node which is still there so you had all these placements and um, all these energies in your first house uh for a while now you know and um mercury's about to move out and go on a sag and um the moon has already left, so you're getting the downloads of what's been going on as far as the movements and what these planets have been doing. And so I feel like that's what a lot of you should be doing, paying attention to your intuition, whatever it's telling you. For some of you, um, you could be considering taking a, a trip. Um, I don't know if you should not take this trip or if you should just avoid, you know, last minute trips. I don't know which one it would be. But I do feel like um, for some of you, it could be that your intuition is telling you to move out or go or take off. For some of you, it could be your intuition is telling you, hey, don't jump into things. Chill out first. Or for some of you, it could just be downloads. So I feel like you should pay attention to your intuition. Just a lot of messages, a lot of uh, information going back and forth as far as you maybe looking at the past, looking at what's going on now. You know, that's what Sagittarius energy does. So, you know, it's a lot of higher mind energy and activity going on because in the end, this is what confirms your philosophy on life, your, your view of things and your view of things consists of your experiences. And so this is the stage where, where you're confirming, OK, what have I learned? So this is where all this energy is. The star energy in reverse. That's a major arcana. That's Aquarius. Hmm. I feel like um, 
somebody may have to accept the fact that something is not going forward. That something is not moving forward or there's stagnant energy. Something may need to, you know, change or switch up or, you know, you may have to pivot left or something like that is what I'm feeling here. But, you know, that's if you, you know, don't want to miss out on a particular opportunity. I feel like there's an opportunity around, but somebody may not be paying attention to their intuition to take advantage of it. I don't know if somebody is scared or somebody's in the process of thinking about what they're seeing. But um, there could be a missed opportunity here or uh, something here that could be long term and potential, you know, especially if it's money. You know, it could be long term money. But uh, if it's something that you, you know. I don't know if this is something that somebody is uh, you have you have control over this. But there's something that uh, you may need to accept that it's not going to move forward or there's something where you're not putting enough energy and effort into it. It could go forward. It's one or the other, but something is is stuck. I get an energy of stagnancy. All right. Well, that's what I got with the star uh, with this judgment energy here. Another major arcana. This is Pluto energy power struggles. All right, um, intensity, you know, um, death, birth, you know, so I don't know. I, I get that somebody's deciding not to have a child. I'm getting that. Somebody may have gotten confirmation about an appointment um, where they're deciding that they're not going to have a child. They may have found out that they're pregnant. So... I don't know why this would be a silent enemy for some of you. Maybe you are dating someone or married to someone who is pregnant by somebody else. And that could be the case. They could be or this could have been the past um, situation that may have occurred. Because, you know, we are processing information right now with the Sagittarius energy. So this could have been something that happened in the past for some of you. <clears throat> But there's some type of change here. There's something something not moving forward. I mean, this could be people going through divorce or separation. Yeah, I feel that heavy because Pluto deals with other people's energy, other people's money, other people's, you know, whatever you share with other people, whether you're separating or whether you're uh, getting together. So, you know, there's something going on here with that. So I would say, rec I would recommend be careful if you're getting into, into any business deals with someone or going into a partnership with someone. You know, I would be careful. I would just make sure I understood what was going on and what was involved, what my part was and what I was getting out of it. Not just now, but for the long haul, like what's involved. But I feel like there could be somebody who's trying to stop somebody's shine as well. Trying to stop someone from uh, getting in the spotlight. Or trying to take someone out of the spotlight. Hmm. I get an energy of jealousy here. So just be careful whatever energies you're feeling around the people who are closest to you. You know, um, for some of you, you may need to check with your friends and family. Some of you may have someone around you who... You know, they may be feeling like giving up in life. You know, so be careful of that. Especially if you sense that somebody is depressed. You know, check on your friends and family. I see that that's important here. Yeah, definitely communication. Because for some people, the holidays is a difficult time. So I do see that for somebody. Somebody's got some, you know, concerns about what they want to do and if they want to move forward in life how they want to move forward in life so check on your friends check on your family yeah that's what I'm seeing here for you Sag so um hmm Pluto's in Capricorn right now so Capricorn is all about your morals your ethics how you see yourself, how people see you. So some of you could be um, 
you know, your intuition could be telling you, you know, based on the next steps you take or whatever it is you're trying to do that, you know, that could all be at stake. It could draw attention to you. You know, maybe some of you don't want the negative uh, publicity with the star energy in reverse. So, it could be a couple different things going on here. But, um, we'll go into the extended and get clarity on these things and find out what it could be. Now, Pluto, yeah, like I said, that's in Capricorn. Aquarius is the star card. That's Uranus, actually. No, it's Aquarius. Aquarius got Jupiter there. So this is some of you, your feelings, maybe you're, you know, keeping your feelings to yourself about things. Maybe you feel like people don't care about your feelings or what you think. I don't know. But hopefully somebody's not dimming their, their shine to be accepted by somebody. I hope that's not the case. Because I feel like that could be what somebody's doing as well. You know, doing what they got to do to be accepted. Like, the universe is like, nah, that's not how this works. You know, you can't be dulling your shine. If you got to dull your shine, you shouldn't be around these people. Like, I get that somebody's around people or dating someone or, you know, whether they go around their family or whether there's some people that they're around who just, they vibrate too high for these people. <clears throat> and you notice, I don't know if you maybe are in an environment where you're around groups of people where, like, for example, maybe you work in a, um, a prison and you go in and you have a program that you run or something that you do associated with it. Uh, people who are in prison. I feel like that's some of you as well. So, mm, but yeah, we're going to go into the extended. So if this resonated with uh, what you may uh, be picking up on, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. Leave a, a message. Let me know. Don't forget to click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to do so. And, um, the link to the extent is in the box below. So I'll see you there, Sag. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. And happy birthday to you.